The Brewers Association reports there are more than 3,200 breweries in the United States, compared to just 40 in 1985. Craft breweries, which produce less than 6 million barrels a year, make up most of this increase. And while U.S. beer consumption overall fell by about 2% in 2013, craft beer consumption rose by more than 17%. Brewers Association Federal Affairs Manager Katie Marisic attributes that growth to drinkers seeking beer with a more distinctive flavor. It's really kind of similar to if you're looking at coffee or bread. People want authenticity, they want flavor, and they want diversity, and that's what we're seeing in the beer market as well. Uh, the beer drinkers are really, really demanding a more diverse and authentic beer. America's largest breweries try to appeal to a wide audience using light beers with mild flavor. Craft beers, on the other hand, lean toward bold flavors and higher alcohol content. Washington, D.C. is home to at least five craft breweries, including D.C. Brown, founded in 2010 by Brandon Skull and Jeff Hancock. And we really wanted to, to make sure that this city had a brewing identity. It's the capital of the country, but it didn't have a production facility in here creating beer that could be sold across the entire city. We just saw that as a major opportunity. D.C. Brown now shares the Washington market with four other breweries. But Skull does not view them as competitors, but rather as what he calls a collective force against the large macro brewers. Let's educate people as to why they should be drinking craft beer, how craft beer can improve the quality of their drinking life. And usually once we do that, we find that people sort of stick with the craft beer. So it's a collective win for all of us when we're able to pull somebody away from that big beer mentality. Brewing giant Anheuser-Busch InBev has been running ads poking fun at the exotic flavors of craft beers and drinkers who examine their beer as much as they drink it. DC Brow brewmaster Jeff Hancock thinks that ad will do nothing to win over craft beer drinkers. And I think, you know, the big Buds and Millers are getting a little scared because they used to have, they used to having at least 85, 90 percent of the total market share. Um, in previous years, even more than that. But craft beer is coming up on, you know, hopefully 20 percent market share by, by 2020. But not everyone in the craft beer industry thinks the ad was entirely wrong. Blue Jacket Brewery beer director Greg Engert says there's a definite beer snob factor among craft beer drinkers. There is an element of craft beer drinker today that is dissecting beer um, at the expense of enjoying it. And I think that somewhere in the middle here is there's, there's kind of like, let's all remember why we got involved with this in the first place. It's fun. You can intellectualize it. I certainly do. But there's a visceral enjoyment that should go along with drinking and socializing around craft beer um, that I think that commercial kind of almost, almost seriously, almost rightfully drew attention to. The Brewers Association predicts the popularity of craft beer will continue to grow. It now makes up 10% of the beer drinking market compared to just 3% in 1997. Jeff Custer, VOA News, Washington.